Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Illumination Station New York. I'm Finn O'Brien. And I'm Justin Aaron. Justin, there's no place like New York. The sights, the restaurants, the bars. The laws. Not just recreational marijuana, or the fact that it's illegal to honk your horn at somebody in New York City. We're here to talk to you today about local laws 97 and 88. These laws have been on the books for a while, but the deadline for compliance is coming and the penalties are significant. Local Law 97 is about total building emission reduction in buildings over 25,000 square feet. Buildings have to be compliant or follow a mitigation plan by January 1st, 2025. All documentation must be submitted to the Department of Buildings by May 1st, 2025 by a registered design professional. You can go to the New York City Accelerator website to see what fines are estimated to be. Local Law 88 is about lighting energy reduction in those same buildings, which of course impacts your carbon footprint. With lighting in non-residential buildings in New York consuming 18% of the energy in the city, it's going to have a big impact on the carbon reduction, as well as your energy costs. HVAC and the overall building envelope are the biggest factors when it comes to the efficiency of your building. Compliance can be complex and expensive, which is why the fines are so high. Illuminations can be your resource to a registered design professional that can help with all aspects of compliance. Recognizing the range of challenges that buildings face with compliance, the city created a penalty framework under Article 320 that includes good faith efforts for mitigating fines through 2029. The list includes 1. Building emissions report in compliance with any adjustments the DOB has granted. 2. Energy benchmarking, also known as Local Law 84. and 3. Lighting energy reduction, also known as Local Law 88. With those items complete, you can choose one of the following to demonstrate a good faith effort towards compliance. This list includes, one, a decarbonization plan. Two, complete application for the work approved by the Department of Buildings. Three, building out electrification readiness. Four, previous compliance with emission limits. Five, critical facility exception, like a hospital, where services would be severely impacted by the full fine. Six, proof that the building is compliant with the DOB approved adjustment. There's a lot of information here, and Illuminations has teamed up with design professionals at all levels that can help with your decarbonization plan. We specialize in energy efficient lighting and lighting controls that can help reduce your carbon footprint, as well as offer a way to mitigate fines while you go through other critical steps to comply. Decarbonization can be a challenge, but it's an important step to a greener and greater New York. And that's what makes New York the greatest city in the world. You want to go to that restaurant I was telling you about? Absolutely, as long as you're buying. Deal. See? We're that easy to work with. Reach out to Illuminations for any help on Local Law 97 or 88, or if you need grow lights. Thanks for watching. Until next week, take care.